Hey Cancer, it is 3.13 as I start the reading. So you guys can be seeing 3.13. Okay, but hi Cancers. Um, I hope you guys are doing well. Um, this is gonna be for anybody with Cancer placements in their chart. Make sure you all flip and switch the roles. Take what resonates, leave what doesn't fit for your situation, guys. Thank you so much for your love, your support, your donations, and booking your personals with me. Sending a lot of love and light and happiness to you on your journeys. Okay, anything you guys need to know about me is going to be down below in the description box. And please be aware of the fake pages that are on here and on any other um, social media platforms. Okay, guys? So let's see, Cancer. Let's see what's going on. Spirit guides, angels, ancestors, ascended masters. Gods and goddesses, please return any spell work, any dark magic that is sent to harm. Cancer and their loved ones, me and my loved ones, returning back to the sender. Block any interferences that could be stopping the messages from coming through. Clear, concise, and precise messages for cancers and protect me as I channel the messages for cancer. So let's see. Ten of cups, bottom of the deck. Okay, nice. Okay, you guys could be starting a little family or something or getting married or having children. Okay, the King of Swords and the Nine of Pentacles came out. Aquarius here, somebody could have a Virgo, Venus. We got the Four of Pentacles. Here we go. Um... Somebody here could be trying all different kind of ways to approach you. Okay. Uh, I feel like somebody is aware of why you're holding back. Okay. Whoever this is, is very possessive or controlling. Somebody is just continuing to hold on to you after you just set yourself free. Nine of Pentacles. It's like you're free. Okay. Some of you guys need to save your money. Nine and four, that's 13. That's death. Scorpio, you could be dealing with a Scorpio. So somebody here could be trying to put an ending to your stability, your security, your financial wealth, or um, they could be trying to take it, okay, or something. Okay, I'm seeing a morgue. Is it a morgue where the bodies are... Uh, Y'all know what I'm trying to say. Uh, okay. <laughs> I'm saying something too about embalming fluid. Uh, somebody here could be passing away or there's somebody that's, that's passed away that's watching over you or somebody's scared of judgment day. Okay. Somebody's spirit guide could be Anubis. Okay. Somebody, somebody know that judgment day is here. Just period. So I don't know what that has to do with anything or that could be a deity or um, a god. That you pray to or whatever <laughs> okay but uh someone could be a capricorn sun here i feel like you're really holding back from somebody but somebody here is greedy they're stingy they feel like you shouldn't be with nobody else or something like that let's see what else mm. or somebody's holding on to something that they need to say yeah the two of pentacles Capricorn, Jupiter, we got uh, Sagittarius. Somebody could be a Sag, Cappy, Cusper. The Ten of Wands. So I, I'm also getting to um, Cancer. While you're waiting for something, there could be some sort of patience here that needs to be had. You could be dealing with somebody here that could be more analytical and logical versus in their heart space. So maybe you feel the need to kind of like hold back. Okay. Or not really. I feel like don't match that energy because there could be somebody around you that's really genuinely wanting to build with you, but they could be juggling like their finances or something like that. They're, they're thinking more logically. Um, Two of Pentacles talks about being open, being flexible, and adapting to changes. So this person, somebody could be going through changes, and there's a need for you to stay balanced. And um, just, I feel like there's a need for you to stay balanced and focus on you, your business, your growth, Nine of Pentacles. Like, be free, be independent. Don't get too caught up on what this person got going on. Let them figure it out. You know what I'm saying? So this is about your independence. Um, this person could be financially... 
uh, they could be like penny pinching right now, four of pentacles with the ten of wands. They could have a lot of responsibilities or just something here is burdening this person. Or something here that this person needs to let go of that's burdening them. Okay, maybe it's something here energetically that they're going through. So I feel like that could be a part of you and somebody's like connection, relationship. You're trying to figure out why this person's so cold or why they so <clears throat> strict and stern. It's because I feel like they they their finances is not where they want it to be. Yeah, I feel like they could feel maybe a little bit intimidated or you know what's crazy too? I really don't feel like they feel intimidated. I really feel like like this is a real masculine. I just feel like they don't like going into situations where they don't have their money together. I feel like this person already knows they're powerful enough to change their situation, just period. Okay. Which is good. But let's just see though. Yeah, Six of Swords. What's the King of Swords right here? The Sun. Leo, what's the King of Swords with the Sun? And the Three of Cups. The sun, something could be getting exposed. There's some sort of truth to it. So now we're switching back over to another story. Okay, because I maybe I, I just pulled in the energy that's not even here. Maybe that's giving you guys confirmation about your relationship right now and what you're going through. But I'm pulling in a different energy now. There's a truth here that somebody wants to tell about a third party. Okay, three of cups, the sun. There could be definitely something getting ready to be celebrated. Somebody here could be winning a court case or whatever. Something getting ready to be balanced out. Um, I feel like Archangel Michael is here too, protecting you and somebody that you're reconciling with or like a, a, a special like collaboration or whatever this is you got going on. It's being protected. But I'm also getting somebody here. There's some sort of truth here. Or somebody is, is gaining some sort of truth or they're, they're researching something, they're looking into something about like a third party or about their friend group or something. What's the sun here with the three of cups? Well, what's the sun spirit? What's the sun? Oh, okay. Oh, the empress. <laughs> the sun of the empress. For some of you, there's like pregnancy here. There could be a project here, something that you're getting ready to uh, put out there, you're getting ready to invest in. This could be simply like somebody not playing about you with the sun and the, the empress and the king of swords right here. It's like somebody is being really strict to hear about you because they want to be with you. They're protecting you or something like that. Okay, we have the emperor and the ace of cups. So definitely the emperor and the empress and the ace of cups is an actual counterpart connection. Somebody that you're meant to be with, I feel like. This king of swords, that could be Archangel Michael here protecting something of yours. For some of you, it's Archangel Michael here is protecting a pregnancy. Okay, something getting ready to be celebratory <laughs> or whatever. What's the sun with the empress? Okay, yeah, Knight of Cups. It's somebody that you're dating. I feel like you're dating somebody. You have some sort of good news here. There's some sort of happy news. Okay. Yeah. This could be you tapping into a new creative skill, a new project as well. You're getting ready to tap into something and, and birth that. It's a new beginning. Okay, what's the Three of Cups? Yeah, Six of Wands. There's some sort of victory, celebration, happiness. Okay, this could be rewards, recognition, something here that you're achieving, whatever it is. What's the Three of Cups with the Six of Wands? I feel like, uh, yeah, the Knight of Wands. The world with the will of fortune could be done with a Sagittarius. Someone could have a Leo Jupiter. So the Knight of Wands, this talks about like a victory, success. I mean, sorry, I'm, I'm looking at some other shit. I lost my train of thought just now. But the Knight of Wands, I feel like um, something is being exposed here about you. I'm going back to the same thing. I'm getting like 
three different stories. Three, two, three on the clock. You guys will be seeing no synchronicities. There's something that's getting exposed about you. Somebody has some sort of truth or they did some sort of research about you. Three of Cups, Six of Wands, Knight of Wands. I feel like there's people involved in something. What's this, what's this Knight of Wands here? I'm trying to put this story together. It's something. There could be somebody that wants to reconcile with you. This person was back and forth, in and out. They want to reconcile with you, but I mean, I feel like they're still going to be like that. They're coming in for attention. Knight of Wands, Six of Wands, Three of Cups. They have a third party, so they, they want to come back in for some sort of attention. What's the Knight of Wands here? This person here could be a player. They just like attention from you. I feel like because they see you happy or successful and you're dating somebody else. What's the Knight of Wands? Yeah, look at that. Queen of Swords in reverse and the Hermit. Virgo here. And we got a uh, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. This Queen of Swords in reverse could be somebody that's overly critical. Okay. Somebody here is gossiping or some shit. Okay, somebody here is a liar. This Queen of Swords, and somebody here is a liar here. Okay, this could be somebody that's like scatterbrained. They're gossiping. They're doing something. I don't know what the fuck they're doing. And the Hermit is like somebody here... researching or analyzing something this could be too somebody here that's like a, a a lawyer or um they work for law enforcement or they could be a counselor a therapist but this person is like corrupt something about them is corrupt here somebody is giving someone bad advice to do something to you or to come towards you with something Mm, what's this um what's this six of wands yeah page of pentacles somebody's trying to fuck some shit up the knight of cups the empress and the sun it's only because if they see you're happy okay you could be with a masculine with the sun and the empress or you're just well balanced but you're dating you're dating somebody and you're happy as fuck. I feel like somebody is, is detecting it. So what they're trying to do, somebody here is giving some, so, some sort of bad advice to do something. Okay. Page of Pentacles is definitely like a plan, a strategy, or somebody studying something. What's this Page of Pentacles with this Six of Wands? Page Pentacle Six of Wands. I'm getting a lot of messages. <laughs> like I'm just looking at everything. Yeah, wow. The, the King of Swords came back out. What? Whoever these people are, who the fuck is this? child what the fuck so this is like a karmic couple or something like that somebody is really like a robot too they're mechanical they're cold i feel like somebody is <sighs> somebody plays a lot of mental like a lot of mind games with somebody this queen of swords in reverse with this king of swords upright. Like somebody here is playing on someone's mental to get them to plan something to come towards you. Like somebody is trying to really get um, you caught up somewhere. Okay, that, that's the thing. This too could be... 
you could be judging a situation wrong as well cancer like somebody here is just cold a bit because they're trying to plan for their finances okay they're trying to get their finances together you could be overly critical or um like overbearing or you're judging a situation wrong because you're scatterbrained there's a need for you to kind of like go within to do some sort of shadow work because you could be judging this person and thinking that they're a knight of wands and they're not okay queen of swords in reverse so with that in reverse you could still be bitter or resentful about a situation you're needing to go within to do the healing work because you could be judging somebody falsely like uh, falsely accusing them of, of some shit or your judgment is off because of fear and shit from the past so you need to be be mindful of that i feel like somebody is just trying to be able to they're trying to get their finances together but i'm also getting something weird so i'm gonna just keep going and see what else comes out two of pentacles six of pentacles page of wands Seven of Pentacles, King of Cups, and the Two of Swords. Somebody is trying to block this Ten of Pentacles. Somebody is trying to block something. And they're, this is like a couple here. These are two people that's trying to block some shit. Somebody is giving someone really bad advice to do something. To be a Knight of Wands to somebody. To be in and out. To be back and forth. To play mind games with someone. And to cause a stalemate. That's what somebody is trying to do. Because they're trying to block some sort of abundance. What's the, the Nine of Pentacles, man? What's the nine of pentacles? Yeah, two of two of swords. What's the nine of pentacles? Two of swords. Someone gonna have a Libra moon. Okay, three of wands, Aries sun. The devil poking out. There's some sort of magic here, man. I mean, just like always, just period. I mean, I know what this is. <laughs> You know, I really be trying to dance around that fact, but bitch, I'm not going to keep doing that either. But, um, somebody here is heartbroken or whatever because you're free. Two of swords and a three of wands. I feel like you could be at a distance from somebody too. You're really protected too from something because there's like anxiety or somebody here. I just bit my tongue. Child, what that means spiritually? Somebody's a liar. What's the not? What's uh? Mm. Biting your tongue can mean that you need to be aware of the hidden dangers surrounding you. Be cautious in your dealings. The pain that comes with biting your tongue is a sign that you are in the process of releasing negative energy from your life. Let's say you're in danger. Biting your tongue could mean that you need to be, yeah, be cautious in your dealings. The danger that you are being warned about could also be internal. Okay, yeah, could be. The universe is imploring you to learn from your past mistakes and avoid them in the future yeah be mindful don't let fear and anxiety here cause you to feel like you're stuck or at a stalemate it says you need to control yourself if you've been having if you have been lacking self-discipline biting your tongue might be the universe telling you to take the driver's wheel in your life you could be struggling with overeating drugs alcohol or a toxic relationship it's up to you to figure out where you are falling short and take control someone is talking behind your back it may not be you that needs to bite your tongue someone you trust could be sharing things with others that you told them in confidence mm. You need to find out who the untrustworthy person is in your life and get them away from you. By removing them from your presence, you will get rid of the negativity, the negative energy. This king of swords right here, they want to come towards you genuinely, right? But they're talking to the wrong person. This person here is a liar. This queen of swords in reverse, this is somebody mama or they baby mama. This person here is getting told, like, somebody here doesn't have a mind of their own. That's why I feel like somebody's a robot. Okay, they know how to play mind games with this fucking, this king of swords. I feel like they want to build something with you, but whoever they, they hang around or something like that, 
Okay, it says you have to stop lying. Maybe you don't see yourself as a liar. Perhaps you are just telling little white lies that you believe are necessary. If so, stop. Biting your tongue could be a sign from the universe that you need to stop telling lies no matter how small and be honest with the people around you. Child, let me let's keep going here because I'm already I'm only on the first damn card. It's 20 minutes in. What's um give me give me more of this King of Swords right here. Who this? Give me this King of Swords specifically. The Ten of Pentacles. What's the King of Swords, Ten of Pentacles? And the Chariot. I mean, somebody clearly is definitely bad mouthing you. This person here could be married. I feel like you didn't already moved on from this person and blocked them. They're already married. They're in a commitment already. And I feel like you moved on from their ass. The chariot, like you, you got some sort of victory here. You loved yourself. The cherry could talk about love winning over hate. You were determined and you're focused to love on yourself and move the fuck on. That's exactly what you did. Okay, so let's just keep going. Let's see. The two of swords. Okay, and the three of wands. Somebody here could be trying to see into something that you have going on and they're blocked. Okay, somebody could be trying to see where they can kind of like attack you at. Two of swords. It's around your heart chakra possibly. Somebody is trying to figure some shit out. They're trying to figure out where... You're falling short at so they can see where they can come in and bamboozle you or something like that. This is a stupid ass plan. What's the two of swords? I might work on everybody else, bitch, but what's the two of swords? Okay, yeah, the, the hangman in reverse. Yeah, the ten of swords and the ten of cups. Somebody wants to cause a betrayal and an ending to whatever it is that's making you happy. True contentment, happiness within yourself. And you could be going into a divine connection, a faded connection. But the hangman in reverse, Pisces energy... This is like impulsivity, stagnation. Okay, definitely with the two of swords upright and the hangman in reverse. I feel like you're coming out of some sort of trap too. There's something here where somebody tried to trap you. You're free, nine of pentacles. But somebody is trying to... Um... Oh. What's, the, what's the, the two of swords with the hangman in reverse? The tower aries scorpio somebody here that you were connecting to a uh, cancer that keeps trying to come back they're refusing to do the inner work this person here so there's a tower okay first of all there's a tower moment that's happening either this is internally or external to you and i feel like if it's external it's i mean it's probably shit going on around you that you're just like what the fuck and you're going within to heal it or look at it but this could be too where you freed yourself from something. You made some sort of change. And I feel like somebody else is getting some sort of tower. Okay. <clears throat> and it has something to do with someone's impulsivity or their... I feel like, yeah, the tower with the, the hangman in reverse. I feel like this talks about disinterest. Somebody is shocked or, or something that you're disinterested in somebody. It's somebody that's secretly like watching you or trying to do something to you behind the scenes. They're using this person to catch you in something or it's like it's like somebody is trying to send somebody to you to keep you stuck or trapped. OK, and they know this person is no good or they they, they know that this person here, they're a people pleaser. They'll do anything. For money, stability, security. So they will pretend to be your friend and pretend to like you or pretend to want to date you just for something it's something here that's this some dark shit whatever the fuck this is it's dark as fuck yeah seven of wands page of swords seven of swords yeah this is about a sneaky ass plan this is a sneaky ass plan here that somebody got And so I feel like you didn't already set yourself free from this person. You did. What's the what's the three of wands? And you moved on. You turned your back. 
and this is shocking for some people or, or something like that what's the it, this is causing a tower because somebody's plan is ruined that's why somebody's plan is ruined whatever this is because they were using this person as some sort of like a they were using this person to to to, to get you it's like if, if they can't get to you themselves they're gonna send somebody to get to you you know what i'm saying like it's really that deep for somebody they crazy as fuck what's the three of wands What's the three of wands? And I feel like that hermit is a whole separate person, to be honest. What's the three of wands? Yeah, ace of pentacles, one is pop out. What's the three of wands, spirit? There's like growth, expansion, a sense of foresight, knowing where you want to go. You could even be at a distance from these people. What's the three of wands? Yeah, the seven of swords. Somebody here waiting for something. Child. <laughs> Someone could have an Aquarius moon. What's the three of wands with the seven of swords? The, the seven of pentacles and the nine of cups. Two of pentacles, six of swords. This is you moving on. You're balanced. You're good. You're staying flexible. You're healing. You're at peace. Or you're moving into peaceful and calmer waters. So the nine of cups... Somebody is trying to steal or they have a plan to take some sort of stability, prosperity, abundance. This could be like um, somebody here is just greedy. All they care about is how they look to other people, their wealth, their stability, their security. That's it. Okay, seven of pentacles with the nine of cups. I feel like you're invested into something that's your wish fulfillment. This could talk about too where, yeah, you've pulled back your energy and you just turned your back on this shit because I feel like you started investing into you. This is you um, pampering yourself here, pleasuring your damn self. Seven of Pentacles is, is growth, um, a, gest a gestation period, nurturing. Okay. Nurturing yourself. This is like a self-evaluation. And you know, realizing some shit about yourself. Or realizing some shit about where you're going and where, where you were headed. So I feel like you stopped. I'm also getting two Nine of Cups and the Seven of Pentacles. For some of you guys, there's fertility. Okay, so if you have sex now, you're going to end up getting pregnant. Okay, you guys will be saying 999. Definitely, I'm getting that too, like major. Somebody doing like fertility spells or something on you. Womb magic. I keep getting that shit, man. I'm also getting... um. Like a sacral chakra, solar plexus, like chakra magic. Seven of swords. Is somebody here trying to steal something? Somebody here is trying to be sneaky or they've been... Somebody has really been investing a lot of time, energy, and, and money into taking some sort of... Taking some sort of stability and security from you. What is that noise? What is that noise? It just fell. They broke it. You broke it? No, I said they didn't broke it. Okay. All right, it's fine. Um, sorry. I wanted to see what that was. Yeah, ten of cups. That somebody. Yeah, somebody's trying to end whatever this is. Page of wands. Somebody. This is this is crazy. What's the uh? Seven of you guys would be saying seven seven seven. I feel like this is also too talking about like your inner work because the seven of swords, there could be some sort of residue or something here left over that needs to be cleared out of your, um, probably your sacral, something here that needs to be cleared out, some sort of betrayal or hurt or pain or whatever this is that you've been kind of like running away from. You're healing it. You're going through a tower. And you're freeing yourself from something or you've been stalling on something the hangman in reverse so i feel like you're healing it whatever is causing you stress anxiety overwhelm worry whatever yeah you freed yourself you freed yourself from this devil energy or whatever the fuck this is okay uh, so you're growing you're expanding you're changing you're learning how to like if you are in a relationship you're learning how to put that time that effort and energy into yourself instead of getting too attached to your person <clears throat> because that's not healthy that's it starts to turn into like an obsession okay 
you you could feel like kind of detached or cold with your person right now but i feel like it's just a change that's going on okay somebody's trying to get their life together so there's a need for you to like pamper yourself go out with friends attend different events like have some fun don't put all your energy into this person if they're trying to get their shit together like really focus on you yeah page of wands queen of cups so yes Go get your phone. I'm going to text it to you. Go get your phone. Because. Sorry. Um. Yeah. So let's see. Four of Pentacles, Six of Cups, Scorpio, what's Four of Pentacles, Six of Cups, Queen of Pentacles. Yeah, there could be like some sort of leftover past situation here that's still bothering you. Okay, I feel like you're doing a good job at managing, like staying grounded. But there's something here that you're possibly still holding on to that needs to be released. It's something about your inner child. Okay. There could be somebody from your past, though, that you got kids with. This person is still holding on to you for, like, dear life, just period. Like, they don't want to release you or let you go. Okay. I feel like they could be holding on to you for financial reasons. If they're hexing and cursing you here, which I feel like they are strongly, it's because they feel like they own you. This person here is controlling, possessive, they're greedy, they're stingy, okay? And they feel like, you know, y'all got kids together so that you're theirs and whatever. Like, this is how this person feels. They're sick, they're twisted, and they're fucking sad, okay? Just period. I'm getting, like, three different stories, two different stories. <laughs> but, um, let's see. Uh... Some of you guys are holding back on a tile in here that can make you more money. Okay, yeah, you could be, this could be like creative expression. Yeah, the, the magician with the page of cups. You guys could be psychic here. You have abilities or you have the resources you need to manifest whatever it is you're trying to manifest. For some of you, there's a baby manifesting. I'm telling you, something about pregnancy is very significant. What's the, what's the uh, queen of pentacles? That should have been coming out all damn day. What's the queen of pentacles? Yeah, Two of Pentacles. You guys will be saying two, two, two. What's Queen of Pentacles? Two of Pentacles. Yeah, the Ten of Wands. Yeah, I feel like, yeah, the King of Pentacles, the Emperor, the Moon, the Seven of Cups. The, okay, yeah. Um, there's a need for you to really just stay balanced. Do not overextend yourself in a situation. Okay, I feel like you're catching yourself doing something that you don't want to do again, ever again. You're trying to uh, refrain from going back to your old ways. Something is triggering you to the point where you are, um, where certain things are coming back up that you need to explore so that way you can heal it. Okay, is what it sounds like to me. Ten of Wands, this could be like a uh, you could be, okay, yeah, you could be seeing that a masculine around you is needing help with something. Like, you have a goal, y'all have a goal in mind, right? But you could be seeing that a masculine around you, your person, they have a lot of responsibilities. And you have the funds, you have the, the care, you have the nurturing energy, you have the stability and the security that is needed to put this person where they need to be. But I feel like you're learning how to keep things balanced. You're not going to overextend. You guys could be saying 10, 10. Okay, yeah, you're trying to learn how to stay balanced while still, you're trying to learn how to give to this person while still giving to yourself and not over giving, which is good. That's, that's really good here. So you're doing some sort of inner child healing. Instead of you being judgmental and um, over criticizing this person or being like overbearing or going back to your old ways of what being bitter or resentful or whatever and thinking this person is a knight of wands or they're dealing with some other people. I feel like you are trying to really learn how to manage your emotions. Okay. Yeah. 
Yeah, like you're letting this person be the man that they need to be. Is I feel like this is a masculine here. You're letting this person figure it out. Like, what's the six of cups? Yeah, the king of pentacles. Okay, I'm going back and forth now. I'm getting another. Uh, what's the six of cups with the king of pentacles? Four of wands. What's this, uh, uh, Four of Pentacles, Page of Wands? What's the, who this King of Pentacles right here? Let me see. Three of Pentacles. Who this King of Pentacles, Three of Pentacles? Okay, Page of Wands in reverse, yeah. So, I mean, let me see. What's the Four of Wands real quick before I say something? Two of Cups, okay. Mm, mm. So you could be with a masculine here that is doing their shadow work. Okay, there's a masculine that's doing their shadow work just like you. Um, they're in the middle of releasing just like you are. I'm getting to... There could be like outside interferences. There's other relationships here. Like your ex could be in a relationship with somebody else and they front end, they faking or whatever the fuck. And you have somebody here from your past. Either they work to they all work together or they all work together to kind of like try to steal abundance and take certain things from you. Okay. This Queen of Pentacles, King of Pentacles is sticking out to me as a karmic couple. Okay. It's giving, they're trying, a, they're trying to do something to keep their relationship afloat. They could work with other people to try to do this. Okay. They, they could live with other people. They need other people. So this is like a community. Okay. Is what I'm getting. This four of wands or they rely on their family. They live with their family. They could be married. They're in a connection here that is false, but it looks real to the community or something like that. Page of Wands in reverse. There's something about somebody's behavior is predictable. There's somebody here that's that's pretending like they're doing inner child healing and they're not. They're in a connection though. I feel like the Four of Wands and the Two of Cups is you also being in your connection or you're getting ready to be in one, whatever. You could be with the Twin Flame. Okay. These people around you here, they're penny pinching. They're losing out on a lot. I feel like whatever is destined for you to come in, whatever this is, you're getting ready to get it. Your ships are getting ready to come in here. And I feel like you dodged a bullet with both of these, whatever the fuck this shit is right here. You dodged a major bullet here. It's like there was a hidden detour or something. Okay. Somebody here, you know, this shit feels like it's all connected to uh, here, Pisces. Like your ex knows this group of people and this group of people knows your ex and they all work together to try to steal abundance from you because you're the abundant one. You're the one with the material success, the stability, the security, like whatever. Or this couple here, they, they work with whatever, whatever. Okay. Um, and this could just simply be you and this person coming together to build a life. Okay, you're in a twin flame union. This is a power couple dynamic, but there could be like a lack of confidence. Page of Wands in reverse. Like maybe it's something that somebody is doing like daily that they need to change. Somebody's routine need to change. Their schedule need to change. Something like that. <clears throat> there could be some sort of leftover residue of like past sh uh, shit and past um, situations that need to be healed in order for you and this person to really have stability and security and things like that. Okay, because it could be blocking someone's finances or whatever. Um, there could be a gift here that you could actually incorporate into you and this person's life here. You have a gift to actually manifest and change some, some, uh, shit around here for you and this person that you could be holding back on as well. Okay. Some of y'all are white witches here. You know how you have a gift and you know how to help whatever it is that you know how to do, honey. Um, that's what I'm getting. Okay, y'all probably got so many different scenarios. I feel like there's a lot going on. 
it's a lot here. There's going to be a positive turnaround knowing someone finances. The star with the ace of pentacles because you're going to have some sort of idea. Something is going to push you into your purpose. Who I got that for? Libra and uh, probably Leo and Capricorn. I forgot. I do feel like there's still people around because these cars are sinking up here. There's people around that's helping somebody do something like bad. What's the Two of Pentacles? What's this one? What's this Two of Pentacles? The Star, Aquarius. What's Two of Pentacles with the Star? And the Nine of Pentacles. Child, the cars are sinking up. What the fuck is this? The Death card and the Five of Wands, the... The moon, yeah, the nine of wands and the eight of swords. Yeah, there's some fuck shit going on, like I was feeling. I mean, I, I said that. <laughs> but, um, you know what this feels like? Somebody's just trying to swap places, okay? Once again, destiny swapping and all this other bullshit. Fuck, okay? Um, the death card, the five of wands and the moon. Somebody's trying to cause, like, mental conflict or cause conflict with your emotions, rather. So that way you'll end something or whatever this is. Like, okay. I feel like somebody here, there's a couple here that's struggling. There could be multiple people around that's struggling, okay? You have a gift here. The Star and the Nine of Pentacles, you guys can be seen in a public guy. You have, um, you could have an online business. You have a very successful business. I feel like your energy is very healing, okay? You have really great work ethic here. Somebody could have an Aquarius in the sixth house, okay? You have a really great work ethic and you're well balanced. You know how to bring in financial stability, security, abundance. Okay. Okay, we have the Ten of Pentacles up here. What's this uh, star? You could be done with an Aquarius. What's the star? Yeah, Five of Swords. Yeah, somebody here playing these stupid ass games, I'm telling you. Could be another Aquarius. What's the star with the five of swords? Somebody could have an Aquarius Venus. What's the star with the five of swords? The Knight of Pentacles wanted to come out. Could be a Virgo. I'm so sick of this fucking Virgo. This is a stupid ass piece of shit person. Or, I mean, no shade if you're the Virgo, that's good. Okay, but I'm saying, what's the star with the five of swords? Yeah, the Ace of Swords. Yeah, somebody here come up, coming up with some sort of bright idea or brilliant idea to take something from you or whatever the fuck this is. But I feel like this could be you as well. Like the 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 uh, Ace of Swords, Five of Swords, and the Star. I feel like you're getting ready to turn your situation around too. Because I feel like you're getting ready to fight back or you have some sort of brilliant idea here that's going to bring some sort of victory. Because the Five of Swords does talk about fighting back, standing up for yourself against somebody trying to intimidate you or they're trying to bully you. Or whatever this is. And it's going to be something that's going to work out in your favor and bring something into balance. Whatever it is. I don't know. The star with the five of swords. I feel like there's two. There's All you got to do is speak something out into the universe. And spirit has your back as well. Like be clear on your communication. There's like a war here somewhere. It's just not coming out clear in this reading. I feel it though. That's what I'm saying. Um, this could be you brainstorming new ideas or having clarity. This is like an aha moment. Something's going to click. And then I feel like you're going to come out victorious and the situation's going to turn around in your favor. What's the Nine of Pentacles? This has something to do with your business. Yeah, Knight of Swords. What's the Nine of Pentacles, Knight of Swords? The Queen of Cups. Gemini energy. Somebody could be a Cancer Gemini Cusper. There's also some fuck shit though. People are working together, but I feel like this more so focused on you anyways and what you need to do to stay balanced and to overcome whatever the fuck this is. Okay, somebody here could definitely be competing with you about your work and shit like that. 
too. But I feel like there is like an attack on your emotions. The Knight of Swords, though, this is like you taking some sort of, uh, I'm about to say calculated risk. Okay, so it could be, but this could be you seizing an opportunity or taking action. It's like you're determined, you're focused. You're going to get get this like energy to get up and go or do something here. It's something that you're going to do. And I feel like, you know, you're, you're logical and your emotions are balanced as well. So whatever you're doing is going to, I don't know, bring something into balance. Something here is going to be balanced out. I don't know. What's the Knight of Swords? This too. What's this Knight of Swords spirit? <laughs> Cancer, not today. Okay, not the fuck today. What's the King of Swords? I mean, Knight of Swords. Yeah, the Six of Swords. Okay, yeah, and the Ace of Pentacles and the... What's the Knight of Swords, Six of Swords, man? Okay, yeah, Ten of Cups in reverse. So, this Ten of Cups in reverse, the Death Card, the Lovers, the Four of Swords. This Ten of Cups in reverse could talk about, like, a divorce. Um... disharmony unhappiness a rocky relationship here with a family member okay uh this could be somebody here that you got kids with but y'all broke up y'all have a rocky relationship y'all don't really see eye to eye okay um or you grew up in some sort of dysfunctional family dynamic this is talking about like emotional unfulfillment so there's something here that you healed or you moved away from something that was emotionally unfulfilling just period. Six of Swords is you moving into peaceful, calm of waters. You could be moving away from family, friends, people that you don't just don't fuck with. You moved away from somebody's ass before they could even attack you. Somebody here was trying to do something to gain some sort of like star quality or stardom or it's something here that you have. It's a gift, okay, that you have that somebody here wants. Somebody thought it was a good idea to fucking bully you, to stop you from what, going into your purpose or to feel like they feel like they can take something from you or something like that. And I feel like you freed yourself from this person. You're free of something. And now something is coming into balance. Something like that is happening. Okay. You're healed. You're emotionally healed, which is a good thing. Excuse me. So. Yeah. Wow. This is big here. The, the Hierophant, the Two of Wands, the Judgment, the, the World, the Ace of Cups, and the King of Cups. Yeah. So there's a contract coming in here because you, you pass some sort of test or you learn some sort of lesson. And I feel like spirit is rewarding you with a really nice connection. This is like your counterpart. King of Cups, Queen of Cups right here. Ace of Cups. I feel like this is you planning for your future. You getting ready to go on a get like get married. Your spirit team is really proud of you here because you moved away from something. Something where somebody was trying to attack you or set you up or whatever this is. That shit is over with. You didn't freeze yourself. You could be saying 999. And somebody here has somebody under attack. Yeah, four of cups, seven of cups. Somebody's like, or they're a part of the stupid shit. They, they like being attacked and they like doing little dumb shit. I don't know. But somebody's like a robot here. They let this person, this person giving somebody the wrong advice, queen of swords. And they, I feel like somebody has given someone advice to come in and out or treat you like a hoe or something like that. And this is set you up in some sort of way. It really is. Okay. They come in for attention and reconcile with you and then leave back out. Something like that is really unhealthy. And I feel like you just started pulling back and loving on yourself. I feel like somebody's trying to do this shit again. And bitch, it's not working. It's not working. What's the temperance? The king of wands. What's the temperance with this damn king of wands? The Wow. The king of cups in reverse, child. <laughs> what? Hmm. Yeah, this King of Cups in reverse right here. Let me see. Who does who does King of Cups in reverse? Who 
Bruce can't come to reverse. The high priestess. Yeah, this person here, they play a lot of they they do a lot to your like your your psyche. This is a very manipulative, nasty individual. Okay, somebody that I'm pulling in. This could be like a karmic ex of yours. You broke up with this person, you moved away. This person here followed you. They sent somebody to attack you, or they, they're following you to attack you. Because they keep trying to swap places with you. It's like they're destiny swapping. I keep getting that. They keep trying to block you from your abundant new beginnings to give to they 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 stupid ass hoe that they with. And I feel like they're using a group that is associated with somebody that you dated on your path. Because I feel like this King of Swords, they genuinely want to be with you, but they were being used as to set you up in some sort of way. These people here, they know about this, okay? It's like they're all connected or something like that is what I'm getting. I mean, I could be off, but, you know, child, I don't know. Please let me know if I'm off. Let me know if I'm... I mean, not everything is going to resonate, but I'm saying, like, you know, not to brag or anything. But I'm just saying, like, what the fuck? Um... So the King of Cups in reverse with the, somebody here gaslights you a lot. They play a lot of, they like to fuck with your intuition, okay, to make you feel like you're not, okay, yeah, so that could be what you're healing from too. You could be healing from like uh, years of narcissistic abuse, spiritual, like narcissism, um, emotional abuse, okay. What's the King of Cups in reverse with the High Priestess? <clears throat> Yeah, page of swords. Yeah, somebody here plays a lot of fucking mind games, this person. They do. They play a lot of mind games. Page of swords, somebody here's a player. Or they just watch you. This person here stalks you. They watch you. Okay. King of Cups in reverse, too. Yeah, that could be like sleeping with a married man. Oh, the high priestess. Oh, yeah. This was some sort of like setup. That's why I feel like everything is linked. Because this King of Cups in reverse, there was some somebody here framed somebody or set someone up to make them look bad. I feel like it's you, obviously. They framed you and set you up to look bad to make it seem like you're a hoe or like you home wreck shit. And I feel like you don't. And it's like, even if these people know the truth, like, oh, okay, well, they didn't wreck the home. They This person here wanted, I feel like they still use that to their advantage because they like to make you look, they like to make you look like you're a hoe in order to ruin your reputation or to keep doing something to you that they're not supposed to be doing. This was some sort of plot or scheme here. I feel like you know something about this. I'm, I'm getting deja vu. I did this reading before. It's coming back up again. It's coming back up again. Um... Uh, Yeah, you're being protected from this person. You're being protected from the, all these fucking people, just period. Because I feel like with the King of Cups in reverse and the High Priestess, you're being made to look like a mistress and you're not. You're a fucking High Priestess. Somebody here planned this shit out. This is like a plan here. It is. To stalk you, to monitor you, to get to know like your connections or the people that you hang with or whatever, to see how they can turn them against you and, and shit like that. Like, what's the um there is something here. Your your intuition is telling you something about whoever this King of Cups is in reverse. Your intuition could be telling you that maybe this King of Cups in reverse, too. I'm getting to like an energy. Because it's going back and forth. I'm getting to like an energy that's like a robot. This person's heart chakra is blocked. Their psyche is blocked. There is no um, creativeness here. Like somebody can't tap into their creativity. Like it's something spiritual going on with somebody. It's like they're they're being used to set you up, basically. And it's crazy because I feel like somebody don't mean to. But they're, they're under mental and emotional like attack. It's spell work here. Just period. Okay, or it's something like that. And then you got somebody like you like your ex or whoever the fuck. Yeah, the ace of wands, the magician, the temperance, yeah. Somebody here got some sort of magic on them. And this could be like sex magic. The ace of wands with the magician. Okay, this could be like uh and this is what you're being protected from. Okay. I don't know, but let's see, what's the high priestess? Or matter of fact, what's this page of swords? Yeah, the Four of Cups. Yeah, somebody that, that uh, left you out on the cold or you left their ass out on the cold. Somebody that missed an opportunity with you because of their past. Somebody here missed an opportunity, just period. And it's, it's whoever their past is affiliated with. I feel like all these people, they know each other. Or something. <laughs> like, what the fuck?
What's the page of, I mean, what's the king of wands? Somebody's like in lustful energy. They're in like their ego. Yeah, nine of swords. What's the king of wands, nine of swords? Somebody here lied and made you look like a fool. It made you look like you were the one that was a homewrecker and a hoe because you rejected them. It's this King of Cups in reverse. Like they're this person is ruthless and they're revengeful when they're in, in reverse like that. That could be your karmic. That's what I'm saying. The King of Cups in reverse. This person, they could be a King of Wands too. Aries Leo Sag. They got Leo in their chart, whatever the fuck. But they're there, you and this person have a family and you moved away from this person. You don't want to be with them. You're healing, you're on a healing journey. So somebody was like, Oh yeah, five of swords. Let's do the five of swords to uh cancer. Let's let's try, stop them from going towards their purpose. Let's ruin their reputation with the star, the six of wands, the three of cups. Like, um, let's ruin their connections. Like, this is what this person did. What's the king of wands with the nine of swords? This person here, yeah, the six of pentacles, yeah, and the moon and the page of cups. What's the King of Wands, Nine of Swords, Six of Pentacles? Someone could have a Taurus Moon. Okay, yeah, Eight of Pentacles. Someone here could be a Virgo Leo Cusper. Magician, the death card, the ace of wands, the devil, yeah. <laughs> Somebody here got paid to do something. That's what I'm saying. They all sacrifice each other. Even if the person that don't mean to do it, they under spell work, they under attack. I don't know. It's like, can't that, that spell work can't really do all that, man. They probably can. I'll take that back. <laughs> but I'm sad. Like, somebody here needs to wake the fuck up. That's what I'm saying. And it, to me, with the king of swords upright twice, it's like somebody's aware of it. <clears throat> you know what I'm saying? Or they know the truth now, but don't want to say it. I don't know, but there's some dark shit though, for sure. The magician, the death, the ace of wands, and the devil. Whenever you connect with somebody sexually, there's is there 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 um something going on with their sacral chakra, like it's it's magic or something like that. That's something that's that that's what I'm saying. Like maybe this king of swords, they don't know about it. You know what I'm saying? They don't know that magic is being put on them, probably by a queen of swords in reverse. Because this person is in and out, they party, they they do whatever the fuck they want to do. Knight of Wands, Six of Wands, Three of Cups, like they got friends, they sleep around, they do whatever the fuck. They go back and sleep with this King of Swords, and so like, and I feel like they could be into magic and shit like that too. This this King of Swords here has the um the the spirit of like death on them, especially when you connect with them sexually. Like there's some sort of dark demon, or there's a demon here that's connected to somebody, and when you connect with them sexually. When you connected to them sexually, it attached something dark to you. And I feel like that was, was a revenge plot. I feel like somebody did that shit on purpose. And it's, it, the only reason, the only way that it could happen is if your ex know these people that this King of Swords knows. And you dated the King of Swords at one point. Maybe you thought they were your twin or you thought something. But the only way that can work is if like your ex here has um, communicated to these people that this King of Swords know. If they have some sort of mutual connection. You know what I'm saying? It's something like that that, that occurred here. And, um, child, this is, this is nasty work. Okay. Like this is, yeah. Five of wands. This could be causing chaos in your connections. Yeah. Five of wands, the lovers, the eight of swords. Like that's what this is for here to cause your connections to, to be chaotic or, um, eight of swords, the lovers, the five of wands. Child. So there's some sort of inner work here that you've done to balance yourself out. Eight of Pentacles. There's there's a masculine here that could be getting a new job. Their, their money is getting ready to look good. So if you're nervous about that, I feel like just stay calm. It's working out for your highest good, okay? Especially if you're connecting to your divine masculine. This is your twin. I feel like I can guarantee you things are going to work out, okay? If you're in union, if you're in a twin flame union, I can guarantee you healed enough to the point where you can be in union with the person. Just period. So, um... 
there's something that's being protected too like whatever this plan is here whoever this is man you know shit about this person that they don't think you know about or they know that you know they like to play these little spiritual games okay you know this person here knows that you're a high priestess and they know that you know what they're doing just period they watch you they stalk you all the fucking time and they keep coming up with all these fucking plans here to keep you stuck just period and i feel like they're sending in somebody that somebody this person is paying somebody top dollar to do whatever this is to you to be honest that's what i'm getting child what's this ten of wands this is sick what's this ten of wands all this to keep you stuck because this person is emotionally unstable somebody is sick in the head like i'm serious to sit up here and plan all this out somebody needs mental help and whoever this is is queen of swords in reverse the hermit this is definitely a fucking clown asshole this queen of swords in reverse somebody here is mentally disturbed both of these stupid bitches i be really hoping you bitches watch my channel and i feel like these are people in secret societies and cults and shit so they don't say much but i know personally these bitches they've already exposed themselves the group of people that do it the people that's close to me and things like that like you bitches already are out it's out in the air in the open like now everybody want to be quiet and shit it's like bitch please what's the ten of wands like we know what the fuck you hoes are doing and for the people that don't know i'm telling you right now on this reading it's like what the fuck what's the ten of wands 4 14 on the clock yeah the hierophant what's the ten of wands with the hierophant Yeah, we got the high priestess right here, upright, and the hierophant here. <laughs> Definitely counterparts. Definitely you learn some sort of spiritual lesson here, for sure. I feel like, um, that's what I'm saying. This is a trick too, right? Because this king of wands here, this person <clears throat> was a catalyst for your growth the whole time. This king of wands is a catalyst. I know for me personally, I had a catalyst twin. That's what this king of wands is. Because this person here, they helped you elevate. That's all they did. The Eight of Pentacles with the Six of Pentacles, they they brought balance into your life by helping you to elevate in whatever way. Okay, you so you master something about yourself, blah, blah, blah. It's like you're moving on with your life now. It's like somebody thought that they had you in a bag or had something fucked up, bitch. The only thing that's fucked up is, is about to be you and these fucking losing assholes that's in this reading. Okay, period. If they're not already fucked up already. It look like a lot of you bitches are broke, penny pinching, struggling, having to do magic to live your life. Just imagine having to continue to do black magic to live your life like you bitches your lifespan is getting ready to be cut short but the hierophant here with the two of wands in reverse yeah somebody here feels restricted or they are restricted two of wands in reverse somebody's little plans it didn't fucking work okay what's this hierophant <laughs> so this could be too, um, the Knight of Pentacles. What's the Hierophant? I feel like there's a need for you to, like, keep faith. Okay, what's the Hierophant with the Knight of Pentacles? Virgo, yeah, the Four of Pentacles. Strong card, Nine of Wands, Ace of Pentacles. Queen of Wands. Two, what's the Two of Wands in reverse? Yeah, the magician. What's two of wands in reverse with the magician? Seven of wands. Yeah, some sort of magic here is blocked, child. Whatever this is right here is definitely blocked and it's wearing off. Whatever the fuck this is. Um, whatever this is to swap places with you and to swap places, that shit is wearing off. Seven of wands with the magician. I feel like you could be, some of y'all could be doing some sort of protection magic or rituals or whatever to block this energy out, just period. I'm um, also, yeah, the strength card, the five of wands, and the temperance. <laughs> Something is slowing down for these fucking people, man. I swear. This is ridiculous. Something's getting ready to reverse on somebody, too. Whatever the fuck this shit is, it's getting ready to reverse. Let me see something. Feel called to use this one. I need to hurry up. Yeah, air sign. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. 
more than friends and divine feminine so yeah this gemini libra aquarius wanted to be more than friends with you it's this fucking aquarius up here with this king of swords here twice lies being spread yeah eighth house and false twin flame yeah eighth house this person got scorpio in their chart okay this fucking false twin flame of yours that's 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 that king of cups in reverse okay i feel like more so this person here they they spread lies about you and this 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 uh catalyst twin of yours i feel like that's a catalyst twin and they didn't know that they don't know much about that clearly they thought that they were trying to ruin something between you and your twin flame bitch you're with your twin flame right now for some of you you're not with this catalyst twin anymore and that's why they look stupid as fuck somebody here lied now their lies is catching up with them they lied and said that you were unhappy or you're not really happy and they're the ones like they, they lied about a lot of shit they're mad because you were happy and they're lonely. <laughs> so they decided to lie. And I feel like the word got around to this air sign, this Gemini, Libra, Aquarius for some of you. Okay, and this is why they ghosted you or went aloof or cold. And now they got to stand on that though. The King of Swords, that's why they the King of Swords here twice. Because they got to stand on that. It's like, even if they do have the truth, they listen to a bunch of lies. That makes you look like a fucking clown. You grown as fuck, bitch. Spell work or not, why the fuck are you listening to lies and shit? And you know somebody's a fucking clown and they bitter as fuck like so this is stupid <laughs> yeah for the clout daydreaming of you child please yeah narcissist i mean clearly yeah soul contract you have some sort of soul contract with a narcissist it's a karmic losing ass piece of shit person that you had a soul contract with that started all this shit. They did this. And what's crazy is I really do feel like this King of Swords was really wanting to date you. Like dead ass. But they got caught up in some mess. Or And this this was all orchestrated. This is like it's prophesized here. It was meant for you to meet this King of Swords to push you into your, your spiritual growth and ev evolution. It was meant to help you awaken and, and love on yourself and shit like that. All these, all these people did was push you into your purpose. Literally that's it. But now your ass could be getting ready to go into a union with your twin flame. Two of cups with the four of wands. <laughs> what else, spirit? Yeah, disappointment. It say things not going in your favor. Someone or something has caused sorrow. A trickster. Yeah, they crying over this fucking king of cups in reverse. That's sitting up here depressed about your ass. Just period. It's a lust. The situation involves lust, passion, sexuality, physical attraction to you or someone. What else? <laughs> Somebody here awakening and they realize that they fucked this offer of listening to a bunch of stupid ass people. Yeah, glowed up, period. They treated you like you were an option listening to this Queen of Swords in reverse. This Queen of Swords in reverse knows your ex. They know they know a group of people. They know this group. They all know each other. They say a physical and mental transformation for the better, looking yourself in the mirror and making a change, period. <laughs> Child, what's disappointment? I cannot. Yeah, taking shortcuts, not doing your job well, not fulfilling commitments, lazy, causing more work for others. Yeah, somebody here tried to play you. They try to play you here. What's disappointment with taking shortcuts? Or, yeah, off the grid. Being cooped up in their room, not socializing, being a hermit, not on social media yet, yeah, ex-lover and letting go. For somebody, like I said, it's your ex. It's your fucking ex that started this shit with this group of people. They went out of, they, out of their way to get in contact with people that you've dated or know to get them to turn against you because they were lonely. <laughs> yeah, hidden agenda. You let them go and they had a hidden agenda because they want to be picked. They want to be a pick me or whatever the fuck. They want to they wanna show the world that they are, are loving on themselves or whatever and, and so they can fake flex or whatever and then say that you were the bad guy in the situation. It's like, bitch, somebody here is delusional to sit up here and do this shit. They're delusional. So this person here could be mad. They're disappointed because whatever lustful connection you was in, it didn't work. You're not in this lustful energy or whatever this is that they tried to attach to you through a particular person. But it's just not, it's, it's, it's gone. Okay, the attachment is gone. Okay, this person here, they did have some sort of demonic entity or attachment or whatever. It's uh the demon of lust. And it's something on your bloodline that needed to be cleared out. It's a generational curse. 
people spirit brought this person in for you to break this curse so that way you can go towards your wish fulfillment that's what it that's what it was and you know that's what it is toxic connection yeah somebody's in a toxic connection that they feel trapped in and they still need your energy this is a fucking narcissist that is running out of supply or the, the bitch that they with they don't like being with that hoe that's why they're still lingering and, and and fucking with your energy what's this lust card this is like a warlock a dark witch whatever yeah lust long distance a strong emotional commitment to another who is far away and often beyond physical access most of the time yeah i feel like somebody here reaches out to you a lot using a astral projection or you get false synchronicities here what's lust with long distance like you're not even close to this person yeah a fan in reverse can't keep your name out of their mouth doesn't know you but obsessed with your life yeah that's in reverse this person here has the demon of lust attached to them yeah i feel like you moved away from this person you moved away because I, I don't feel like, yeah, fan in reverse. I don't feel like this person had really had bad intentions from the get-go. Whoever this king of swords is, they really wanted to build this life with you. But I feel like their family got in the way. Ten of Pentacles. Or their family, child, this was a set up for sure. This was a big set up here. Mm -mm -mm. Yeah, moving. Yeah, new house, relocating, leaving someone or something behind. Yeah, you You moved. Then we have woke here, being aware, knowing what's going on in the community and humanity and eavesdropping. A peeping Tom looking over someone's shoulder, listening to your private conversations. Child, for some of you, I'm telling you, this is your fucking ex. They know. It's coming out so clear. They know this King of Swords. I, can't, I don't know how many times I got to say that. You moved. Okay, you moved. And this person here, they followed you. They followed your ass. Wherever you went, they followed. <laughs> Uh, dead ass they moved too child was moving some of y'all could be getting the property though nine of pentacles here twice with the three of wands some of y'all some of y'all could actually be getting a property so congrats in advance what's the moving this could be you moving forward spiritually too your energy is purifying itself away from this whatever the fuck this is yeah controlling yeah this person wanted to be able to control you though this is giving me past a past story okay it's a controlling someone think someone thinks that they can control you the situation or people in general a tyrant Eleven forty four on the timer i just saw what's moving here with controlling yeah moocher yeah this person here they thought for some of you guys you moved and this person thought they was going to end up living off of you or stealing your abundance by doing spell work doing rituals and shit like that bitch absolutely not okay someone who survives off another's income one who even if they have their own money will use someone else's first child what is what is eavesdropping here this is a stalker yeah a psycho a damn psychopath your your purpose here is to expose this psychopath here this fucking loser of this this ex of yours here that's in this fucking cult or whatever the fuck this shit is okay religious someone is into their religion goes to church tithes follows religious dogma what's eavesdropping here with religious okay yeah air sign in reverse i'm telling you it's this gemini libra aquarius distorted air sign it's a distorted air sign or they got different religion they got different beliefs mm, mm, mm. <laughs> i feel like they came after you divine feminine because you was gonna help this masculine awaken what's religious here yeah caught in the act Mm. someone has been caught doing something they shouldn't what's a uh, woke somebody got caught doing some sort of spell work yeah spirituality hater yeah that's in reverse hating on your on your beliefs not liking that you're untraditional, uncomfortable with your spirituality. What's woke here with spirituality, hater? Money problems in reverse. Someone could be in debt to their credit cards, burning through cash, irresponsible with money. Yeah, this is you, woke. And you ain't having no financial problems, nor are you hating on somebody else's religious beliefs. Like, you don't give a fuck enough. You're focused on yourself and whatever your relationship is with the Lord. <laughs> like, you not even... What the fuck? Yeah, somebody here, somebody here got some sort of clarity. 
It's this distorted Queen of Swords in reverse. This bitch got air in HR too. They, somebody here is a spiritual narcissist. They're, they're a religious narcissist too. Somebody here uses religion to keep somebody stuck and trapped in this brainwashing ass energy. That's what this is. Somebody here has used religion to make it seem like, like if somebody here caught someone cheating or doing something, they'll use religion to be like, you know, that's a sin. You're going to go to hell or something like that. Instead of telling this person to do their shadow work and heal, they'll tell this person like, oh, well, you're going to hell. You did this wrong. Or they're very overly critical and very, very judgmental. This is, this is some sick shit here that somebody is doing. What else? Always partying, playing games, water sign. The situation involves a water sign, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, and ball in here. Having a luxurious lifestyle, wanting and having the most expensive things in life, pockets full. What's the water sign? Fifth house. <clears throat> One's hobbies, interests, recreational and leisure activities, what one does for entertainment. Confident and happy. You could be dealing with a water sign. This could be your actual twin. What's water sign with the fifth house? Okay, yeah, they could be a they could have fire in their chart too. Fire sign. This situation involves a fire sign. Aries Leo Sag. Okay. What's ball in here? Or something. Playing games. Someone doesn't know how to stop playing games, messing around, immature, doesn't want to grow up. Yeah, this is some fake-ass relationship here. There could be a fire sign and a water sign that's together, but they're showing up as a queen and a king of pentacles, stable, secure, whatever. This they, they don't really live like that. They're not cut like that. They're using the spell work here to gain. Yeah, they're a fake flexor. They fake as fuck, all of them. And the truth is being unveiled about this damn couple. Because a divine feminine is revealing it just by you living your life. You could be tarot readers like me or whatever the fuck, but you definitely exposing the fuck out of this raggedy ass couple that feel like they, they so fucking high and mighty or they living a good life while you sit up here and, and suffer while they steal everything or use this damn cult or coven to destiny swap with you. Absolutely the fuck not. Yeah, and then, then they try to have a poker face. Somebody here is hiding the fact that they're clinging on to you for dear life. If somebody here is delusional. I'm telling you, this is a real dark person here. This is like some demonic, satanic shit that somebody on was always partying, playing games. Like they having it up over here. This is what they do for fun. This is what they do in their, their free time. Was always partying, playing games. <laughs> yeah, social media stalker. This child always on your socials, keeping tabs on you, having viewing i mean always viewing your updates child that's what i'm saying yeah witchcraft exactly a whistleblower <laughs> you could be speaking about this fucking witchcraft here this dark magic that somebody is doing about the it's this married couple that's intimidated by you you by yourself the nine of pentacles came up twice it's like you've been doing this shit all on your own <laughs> and they still intimidated by you and they're together and they got to do spell work together they're a bunch of weak ass bitches i really hope you bitches be watching these readings because i you know all this hiding and shit, that's some weak pussy ass shit to go sit behind somebody back and do all this and then act like you don't know what's going on. You're a weak ass hoe. You weak as fuck. You and this lame ass bitch. Y'all weak as hell. What else? And you know, I know personally, like I just sit back and like just be, you know what I'm saying? A motherfucker can't even look me in the eye. I just be like laughing at the shit because it's funny. It's like, okay, well, you want to be quiet? Sure, I'm going to be quiet too. I'm not the one that's sitting up here getting ready to go through karma. Bitch is you. I find that shit to be fucking hilarious. You and your bitch, okay? Like, it's funny. It's fuck. And then you, like, people really act like, because they embarrassed. That's why. They fucking embarrassed and they should be. Very ashamed. So we have lonely. Having no one. Wanting companionship. Isolated. Yeah, loner. Outcast. Yeah, so this is what somebody was trying to do. Make you feel lonely or an outcast. And I feel like all you did was move away and heal. That's all you did. Literally and became more balanced. That's what I'm saying. All they did was help you glow the fuck up. And now they sit up here mad. It's like, bitch, you did a good deed. Finally, be proud of something. You know what I'm saying? Like, what the fuck? What's the two of, what's, what else for right here? Somebody here wanted you to feel lonely. Yeah, ex-lover. This ex-lover here, this ex of yours, yeah, divine feminine. Knowing damn well you a fucking divine feminine. That's an earth angel. Child, I cannot make the shit up. In the 12th house, hidden truth, secret dreams one has, hidden strengths and weaknesses, the unconscious and karma. Bitch, they ain't know who the fuck you were. They ain't know who you were at all, and they've been acting a fucking fool. 
Yeah, okay. <laughs> okay. You show they ass real quick who the fuck the boss is around this bitch. Okay, who got more power around here? It's definitely not you, bitch. This ex-lover of yours. Yeah, this person here, they knew what was up from the get-go. This person here knew that you have hidden talents, hidden hidden uh strengths and, and, and like your weaknesses and things like that. They knew that too because they definitely used them against you. They tried to anyway. What's the ex-lover? It's this ex of yours. This is some stupid ass shit. And this King of Swords up here is sitting in grief. They crying because they like, damn, you know, that was supposed to be my person. I listen to gossip here. I feel like your ex and ran their mouth to this group and this, this King of Swords or whatever. Yeah, they did all that to split y'all up, bitch. It was supposed to be like that, though. So thank you. Thank you, bitch. What's the ex-lover? <laughs> Child. You never know who God bringing to people's life. Yeah. A home wrecker. Breaking up a happy family. Having affairs. Doesn't respect no boundaries. What's ex-lover? I feel like this is what they try to make you out to be. And the whole time they sitting up here doing spell work on you and your connections and whoever else you're dating to keep y'all apart. But trying to make you look like you're a home wrecker. Like what? And got these bitches believing that you're actually a home wrecker. The people that's involved with this Queen of Swords, I mean this King of Swords or, or whatever, they got these people here think that this 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 King of Cups in reverse, whoever your ex is, is bitter ass bitch. This sat like they feel like they're telling the truth. Okay? Like child, what's ex lover with home wrecker? They probably got the bitch that they with thinking that you this way or they all just stupid as fuck they all groupies they stupid as hell they fall for anything they dick crazed they pussy whipped it's like they don't give a fuck about money they don't give a fuck about anything else but money stability and the shit that they never would have if it wasn't for black magic they need to remember that too as well because that shit getting ready to be snatched from under they stupid ass especially if they've been living off of you and your energy bitch please yeah, I feel like you let this stupid asshole go. You or someone has let go of the situation, relationship traits, or bad habits. It's like you let that shit go. You've been healing. And somebody else has like been attacking you this whole time behind your back. Child, please. <laughs> and then they act like, you know what I'm saying? It's crazy how somebody here could be so ruthless and nasty. They put on this poker face like they ain't do shit. Somebody here is mentally disturbed and they need to be off of the fucking street. Like, that's dangerous for somebody to fucking go around and basically commit murders and shit like that, spiritually and on a physical, possibly. And then to walk around like nothing has happened, something is mentally disturbing with that. Like, something wrong. We got confident in reverse. Second house. Yeah. Yeah. Everything the person in this situation may own and claim is theirs. Money, possessions, their own self-worth. Then we have big ego. Inflated sense of self. Being self-centered, self-absorbed, thinking the world revolves around you. What's this confident in reverse? No limits. Nothing can stop them. Continues on without restriction. Going their own way. What's confident in reverse? Distorted feminine. <laughs> okay, fear of conflict. Okay, hypersensitive, rejection of rationality, too receptive, waiting for things to happen, and self-love, bottom of the deck. Okay, yeah, so there's something here that's um making you feel insecure right now, divine feminine. Okay, this is you here needing to push through. Whatever this distorted feminine energy is, you need to go ahead and heal it right now. Like, you need to handle it like you see it coming up you see your insecurities and your fears are coming up here it's because of all this emotional fucking abuse okay that has happened to you due to this fucking ex and all this spiritual manipulation and mind games they're playing so you could be feeling like you're not too confident here about a connection because maybe this masculine's money they're trying to get their money together okay and things like that that king of wands could be this that your masculine like taking action to get their finances right okay I'm also, let's see, what's the second house? There could be a distorted feminine here. There, there's a stupid ass hoe that's here, right? This person here is not feeling too confident because they know they're getting ready to lose out. No house, no home. Somebody's going to have to move and some more shit. What's second house here? Okay, yeah, star. Yeah, you know, I kind of like felt like that was you. You could have Taurus in your chart. You could be a Taurus watching for cancer placements or whatever. But it says being popular, very successful, having a platform, being recognized and known. Yeah, what's big ego? 
snooping. <laughs> Always in your business. Yeah, ask questions about you looking over your shoulder for DTS. Yeah, somebody is trying to figure out what to attack currently right now. Like they're trying to figure out what they need to attack in order to keep you in this low vibrational energy and fuck up your connection with your actual divine masculine. That's what they're trying to do. Somebody wants you to have low self-esteem. They want you to be fucked up. Okay. They want to see where you're at, like ego, ego wise. Like, are you in your ego? Are you in the devil energy? So they can continue to attack it. That's why I'm saying you need to do your shadow work. Don't sit up here and bullshit or try to run away. Do your shadow work. Just period. Just period. What's big ego here with this, with snooping? This person here is with a distorted feminine. That they got to keep trying to prove to the world that they're happy with this lame ass hoe and they're not. This person here is insecure as fuck. And they see you sitting up here with the second house. You have everything that you want here. You're a star. You're stable. You're secure. This person here just continues to watch you to see how they can attack you. Yeah. Talking good shit. People like what you got going on. Talking about your achievements and your accolades. Yeah. And you're in a divine union. This person here, they can't let some shit go. They don't want to be wrong about anything. This is a narcissist. They have a big ass ego and they don't want to be proven wrong about nothing. They feel like they know everything and now shit is hitting the fan. They don't know a goddamn thing. They don't know nothing. What else? Bitch, you're embarrassing. And if you're watching, you heard what the fuck I said. I'm, I'm sick of this person. They done pissed me off. High key. Always drawing attention. Very obvious. Assertive and public. Butting heads. Fighting. Getting into arguments. Someone is in conflict. Passive aggressive. Sabotaging. Yeah, bystander. <laughs> Sitting back and watching it all happen. Not standing up for someone being hurt. Child. Mm, mm, mm. yeah toxic connection and burning through money yeah these people are married and they ain't got no more fucking money okay that's what's happening what's high key here self-love yeah this is you feeling confident <laughs> you could be getting a lot of attention right now loving yourself just the way you are not dimming yourself to fit other people's perceptions self-care inner beauty just period what's butting heads so now somebody what they want to fight bitch hidden agendas yeah pay attention to this person because they have other plans than the ones that they reveal what's butting heads here <laughs> somebody here want to argue with you yeah heartbreaker a person who can break hearts easily everyone wants them but not everyone can have them what's butting heads with hidden agenda and heartbreaker or oh, they they button heads with the person that they with <laughs> We got pick me here, willing to do anything for approval of the opposite sex. Yeah, willing to embarrass or throw someone under the bus to achieve this goal. Yeah, whoever this is that they with, they stupid. They just as stupid as like, they stupid as fuck. They're jealous now. This, this masculine and pillow talk to this bitch so much that they just, <laughs> they mad at you. It's like, bitch, you need to be mad at your man. Your man is the one stalking. Like, bitch, be mad at your fucking man here. And I feel like they're taking their anger out on this stupid ass hoe. And this hoe sitting up here like, oh my God, they're so fucking dick whipped. And they fucking probably under spell work and attacks and shit like that. Or they do the attacking too. They so fucking lame, both of them. They so fucking dumb. What's bystander? Bestie. <laughs> one who is always by your side, who never ditches you. And one who will take a bully for you. Oh, uh, what's, what's bystander with bestie? Big mad. Yeah, somebody here is mad because someone is taking up for somebody. <laughs> There's like fighting and shit going on. I feel like this is fighting amongst a community. They're all butting heads because their magic is backfiring. It's not working. And somebody in some sort of group or whatever is taking up for you. Yeah, it's whoever this is. I want to be more than friends. For some of you, it's this king of swords. They know the truth about you now. I don't feel like it's meant for y'all to be together. But I feel like they know the truth about you. And about how your ex here sat up here and lied <clears throat> and talked to ruin a to ruin a connection. They say very triggered, mad as fuck, angry about a situation or someone. <laughs> I don't know. Let's see. What's bystander? Give me more. Yeah, role model. They said being an inspiration to others, having positive recognition from a lot of people. Ninth house. What's big mad? Sabotage in reverse. What's big mad here with sabotage in reverse? Yeah, somebody's mad because they can't sabotage something or they can't use this person to sabotage anything. Yeah, for the clout. <laughs> Doing it all for the fame, attention, views, doesn't want to be left alone, being fake. Yeah, shady and truth unveiled. Something is coming out about somebody being a shady ass bitch. 
It's this fucking ex of yours and this raggedy ass karmic that they with. Ooh, child. <laughs> Cancer, this reading here was long as hell, man. It's ridiculous. I wasn't even supposed to be on this shit this long. <sighs> Your ex is a fucking loser. <laughs> okay, all of our exes are, child. Okay, period. But... This was your reading. I hope that this resonated. Like, comment, subscribe, turn your notification bell on, press the all button so you won't miss any of my readings for when I post. And I will talk to you guys later. Bye.